back to Couch Collectibles. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the 1941 Wheat Penny. Is it valuable? How much have they sold for? What types of errors do you want to look for on the 1941 Penny? So all that more is coming up, guys. Don't forget, if you want some official Couch Collectibles merchandise, that is on the store right now, couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description of this video. So let's just hop into it and check out these rare Wheat Pennies that are worth money. All right, so first here is an image of the mintages of the pennies from 1941 you can see there in green so mintage pretty much means how many they produced how many they minted all right so 1941 no mint mark when it doesn't have the mint mark that means it's Philadelphia it was produced in Philadelphia now I have a whole video on mint marks be sure to go check that out you can see there to the right of 1941 they produced over 887 million so they are very, very common coins. But if you look there at 1941D and 1941S and you look over to the right at their numbers, you can see that they produced a lot less than the Philadelphia minted penny from 1941. But they still produced a lot of these coins. So what's going to make these coins valuable? Well, here's an image of what you want to look for that could possibly make your 1941 worth a lot more than its face value. Now, this is an example of a 1941 double die obverse. So there's doubling taking place on the lettering here you can see in the image displayed So what you want to do is get a cheap USB coin microscope and that way you can see your coins up close like this to see if you have any double die errors now here's the date 1941 being doubled and the doubling on the bottom image there of the 1941 is a little difficult if you look there to the left of the one and the nine you can really see that doubling taking place there now there is a difference between a true double die coin and mechanical doubling i got a whole video on that as well so be sure to go through my channel and check that out also and then here's just one more example of a double die taking place on a 1941 Lincoln penny. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple differences here because there are some more errors to look for, but real quick, here's a 1941 double die that is at an extra fine 45. So the grading scale goes all the way up to 70. This is at an extra fine of 45. Of course, it's not a mint stated condition coin or anything like that, so keep that in mind. Obviously, if it was a mint stated condition coin, it would sell for a lot more money. However, this coin here sold for over $240. Now here's an even lower graded 1941 Lincoln Penny. Now this has a double die obverse as well. However, it's not in the best condition. It only sold for $19. So that really shows you the value in the grading system right there. Let's move on to a very high graded coin. Now this is a 1941 proof penny that is very, very high graded there. So you can see that in the images displayed. Keep in mind if you guys do find a 1941 penny when you're coin roll hunting or searching through your pocket change and it's just a regular circulated beat up scratched 1941 penny and it doesn't have any types of errors I still have one more error to show you but if it doesn't have any types of errors it's not gonna be extremely valuable it's just gonna be worth pretty much its face value but this 1941 high graded proof coin here sold for over twenty eight thousand dollars next up is something to look for on the 1941 s San Francisco minted Lincoln scent. So what this is called, this is a repunched mint mark for anyone that's new to coin collecting or new here on Couch Collectibles. This is something you want to look for on your mint marks. The mint mark has been repunched. So it'd be an RPM. And you can clearly see that the S has been repunched there and the image displayed. So always be on the lookout for those because those could give your coins a little bit of value as well. Hey guys, don't forget to go check out CouchCollectibles.com. Until tomorrow, we'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.